Go, 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 show. It's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip the party like it's your birthday. 50 Cent turns Super Bowl 56 upside down. If you watch our move, you can stick before a play up here. I've been hit with a few shell, but I don't walk with a lift. In one of the halftime show's many chart toppers, the rapper performed his 2003 hit in the club. When he was finished defying gravity, 50 Cent joined the star studded ensemble for the finale. Still taking my time to perfect the beat, and I still got love for the streets. It's the DRE. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Mary J. Blige, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar rounded out the show's Hip Hop Hall of Famers. And following halftime, Busta Rhymes told E.T. the performance already cemented an important legacy. What does it mean to see this group of folks break through on this stage? I was fortunate enough to be able to come and witness one of the rehearsals. Emotional for me? For tears? Yeah, because Proud and tears of joy, though. Obviously, primarily what it means for our culture is everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. But just on an on a, on a intergalactic level, beyond Earth. I think we proved tonight that hip-hop is part of the American DNA. Jesse Collins, one of the Halftime Show's producers, explained how this epic production came together. You know, this is one of the fastest first halves in NFL history, and so, we had to make sure that there was plenty of production value, lights in the stadium, huge set, and then just monster hits, monster artists. How do you make it with the moving pieces and all the people popping up and down? Just an incredible team. I mean, that thing came on in, I think, less than eight minutes tonight. The DPS team, the Rock Nation team, the NFL, everybody just working hard, knowing yeah. that we had no choice. You had to get that on. I only heard hits out there tonight, and I thought that was different, because usually artists want to do one or two songs to advance a cause. Everybody did hits. Absolutely. I mean, listen, I think that was established from day one. I think whenever Dre and Jay sat down and said, these are the artists and these are the records, it was like, we're going to pick the, the cream of the crop. Everyone is in tears, because you know that, you know, Dre changed music. Go back to NWA. He made the world look at the West Coast and what they were saying. And then he has continued to change it over and over again. Eminem, 50 Cent, it goes on and on. Kendrick, Snoop. It's like he keeps, keeps changing music, changing music for the world. I mean, these are the Avengers of music all together in one halftime show. These are superstars. 